Um, let me show you where we're at with the character, uh, the quest list. This is started. Quest status one is started. Unstarted is quest status two. Finished is quest status three. All is obviously all of them. And I'm sorry, this is filtering. All right, so this is going to be the quest title. Uh, we definitely want it to be left justified and maybe here. And then we can change the color, I believe, based on whether it's started, finished, or unstarted. I think that makes sense. Green for finished, red, red for unstarted maybe, or maybe like, I was thinking like gray for unstarted. Hmm. Okay, so I want it to start green and go to red, and then the middle one will be orange or something. I, I don't know. Let's let's find out. I'm not entirely sure what they are. I think it is started, unstarted, finished. So started is going to be what? If you started the quest, I want it to be white. Or maybe yellow. I don't want the yellow and green to be so similar. Maybe blue. So unstarted, I want red. Or no, maybe gray. Grayed out? But grayed out means, kind of like means you can't even do it. Or maybe, maybe blue. blue. What, what if, if we did start as like cyan? cyan? And yeah, I, I want to go with colors. I, I, um, it's just, it makes them stand out more. Do you know what I mean? Now it just feels like there's too much color. Well, I don't know. It's not bad. Oh, so let, <laughs> let me, let me show you actually filtering it. Um, So the filter works, which is nice. And when you first start the game, it's all gonna be red. It's all gonna be red. Um, this is not bad. Let's let's try to do select or hovering a quest now. Um, let's try to do hovering a quest. Uh, all right, how do we do selecting? I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. If we put a zone in here, if we just put a zone in every one of these chips, but I don't really want to do it that way. If we could make something that like. Oh man, this is actually kind of difficult. Hmm, isn't this same as your cursor system in your inventory? No, no, I mean, not not, not at all, <laughs> but, but it could be. I. So now only the top one is hovered. See? How is this? Like, this actually looks pretty good. Wait, this actually looks pretty good. <laughs> what the hell? The flickering I don't like, but I kind of like how it moves. Yeah, let's try draw. Let's just try drawing it, right? I like it moving. I'm gonna be honest. It, it makes it more like. I'm not sure where I'm going with that, but uh, um, let's work on the different like sorting criteria. So I made this wonderful, <laughs> I made this wonderful thing, but we have to rip it apart, unfortunately. I most likely have to redo all of this, but I do just want to see if this will be decent. All right, let's see, let's see how this looks. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to differentiate between like, like, I don't even know that I'm selecting this. Let's try this. There we go. Now you actually know. Now you actually know that you've selected it. That makes, okay, that's much better. All right. So we're gonna try what Pixel uh, recommended and, and Pillow, it, which is a, which is just like a box instead of, instead of a border. Um, we'll see if it looks better. For the record, the way I had it before looked good, but it just wasn't like functional because you couldn't see all the options at the same time, which is a no-no. Invert the text color when it's highlighted. Hey, okay, so it's inverted, <laughs> but not how we want it. Yeah, the cool thing about this method is 
Well, there's a lot of cool things. You'll, you'll see, though. We can, we can do a pretty cool effect. This might make it look better, actually. Or this might be the thing that makes it look better. It looks pretty nice, I think. I don't know. I don't know if it, like, fits in with the theme, but, like, what theme am I even going for? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? What if I made it look like this? All right, this at least fits in with the theme better. The text changing was nice, though. Okay, um, so. Maybe we do this. Okay. And... I like this. This is, uh, this looks nice. And yeah, like, I'm making the, guys, I'm making the, the menu in a way that, like, allows me to reskin it in a different style when I want to. Um, right now it's, like, extremely generic, but I can change it to whatever I want to. I just don't know what I want yet. So I'm just going with polished but generic. How many quests do you imagine there will be roughly? Probably 30. Probably 30. The more, the better. I would like as many as possible, just so there's stuff to do, but I don't know. All right, so let's get the quest hover ID. Do we just put it all on timeline, honestly? Or would it be, would it actually be like better thermal wise to just do a bunch of calculators? Hmm. It's just, it makes more sense to me to just put it all in a timeline. And as we add quests, we'll add we'll add more rows. So let's just do two quests right now. Maybe just one, honestly. So how I'm gonna do it um, is, the quest is gonna be a variable. And in that variable, it's just gonna be a number. And that number will represent different things depending on what the quest is. But like, let's say it's a fetch quest or something. In that variable, I'm gonna have like, which step you're on. So maybe zero is not started. One is finding the apples, for example, and then two is you've handed in the apples. So there's three different states in this hypothetical quest. And and then another number in that variable could be, I, you don't even have to store how many apples because you can just count them in the inventory. So um, it's actually pretty easy to track quest uh, progress. And yeah, even if, yeah, for a single digit, yeah, exactly. like, even if you have 10 steps, you just, you just have to, you have to keep track of which step you're on, and then do logic accordingly. Yover, it's, it's actually, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, it, it depends on the quest, though, um, of course. All right, and this, so this is going to be the title. We just want to make this look good, I guess. So let's save this. And let's try to make the quest. I don't see why it would be that hard. Okay, let's make a quest. Let's make a quest. So here's our little dude. Here's our little dude. And we are gonna just do this. So this is just completely, the, this entire setup is just to test the quest stuff. All right, here we go, guys. Let's, let's test out this quest. So here it is, it's right there. The test quest to test quests. Start the quest by talking to the shady guy in the far corner. All right, so there he is. And we get the talk, we're gonna press talk. I cannot move right now, I cannot move. Um, although the talk thing is still there. Uh, hey kid, I need you to get me two logs, two ore and a fish. Can you do that for me? Not right now. Oh, I never broke out. That's not good. So this should be if the text finishes. That makes more sense. Here we go. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. So we're gonna go to the quest, and there it is. It's it's uh it's unstarted. There it 
is. Hey kid, I need you to get me two logs, two ore, and a fish. Can you do that for me? Not right now. Okay. And the quest is still unstarted. Sure. Now it turns to an exclamation point. If we go to the quest, it is now not in unstarted. In all, it is blue, and it is in started. Um, and we can't scroll. That's another thing, because there's nothing to scroll to. And let's keep going. Do you have what I asked for? Uh, I need more time. Okay, obviously it's still like that. And if I say yes, it's all here. The, the exclamation point goes away. And the quest is done. So it says completed. See on the right side? Ooh, the start, okay, the start the quest thing didn't, didn't bold out, or didn't gray out, which is a bug. But anyway, it is now in finished. See? And it's not in started. It's not in unstarted. So this is good. My, my waffles were good.